Game design. The combination of programming, art and storytelling. All brought to life by a game engine. I think it's one of the best art forms out there. And for a really long time I've tried to make a game. But um, it's, it's really difficult. Alright, let's put aside that it's really difficult to do and let's just make a game. This is DevBlog1. Right, so before we can actually make the game, we need to have an idea for the game. So I'll see you in a couple of hours and hopefully I've got something by then. Alright, so it's been a couple of hours, but we're here on my computer and I've actually come up with an idea. Not not for the, the gameplay itself, but um, I, I've come up with an idea for the setting of the game. For where the game takes place. Right here, or on a, on a desktop, or on a computer desktop. This might be absolutely genius. Or this might be very dumb, but I think it could work. All right, so let's open Unity, create a new project. We're going to go for 2D. For now, it's going to be called Desktop Game. And let's create it. Right, now we just need to wait for Unity to actually start. That is going to take a while. Right, so a really long time later, we now have the Unity editor. So now we can actually start making our game. But because I haven't written code, in ages i'm just going to start by designing everything even though that's probably going to take ages i just don't want to write code right now all right so with gimp booted up we can start working on some assets and the first thing that came to mind was this image right here the windows xp background i thought this could be a good background for any game you could have an adventure game here a puzzle game a platformer even so you have a lot of possibilities because it's like a landscape but this is the end result and as you can see it looks absolutely terrible so i deleted it and i started working on a different design a more minimalistic and less effort one because i suck at art so then i made this it's really simple, just a blue background with a white Windows logo on it. And it kind of resembles the Windows 10 standard background, but also not really. But it was perfect for our game. But of course, a desktop is not finished without the applications. So I started working on the icons for those. First Chrome, then the Windows Explorer, Firefox, Thunderbird, OBS, Minecraft, and lastly, Discord. All right, so I've got some basic assets done. We of course have the standard Windows background, the Chrome logo, the Windows Explorer logo, the Firefox logo, which I absolutely love. It just looks so cool. The Thunderbird logo, the OBS logo that probably turned out the worst. The Minecraft logo, which is in competition with the OBS logo of looking the worst. And finally, the Discord logo, which doesn't look great, but it looks better than the OBS and Minecraft logos. And that is basically it. We've got all these lovely logos and they may not look good up close, but if you zoom out, they look pretty awesome like i said this one looks so good so let's put them in unity all right so the first thing we need to do is import all our pixel art that we made into unity all right so with all the assets imported let's just create a little folder call it art and put all this in it just to keep it a bit organized let's also create a folder for our scripts and now we can start working on the desktop so i first put the windows background in our scene then i added a little bar on the bottom for our icons then i actually implemented those icons into the scene but realized there was something missing on the left hand corner so i made a windows logo put it in the scene and now we have quite a good looking desktop right so we now have all the assets we created in our scene we have the little windows logo down here and all the other logos and what we're now going to do we're going to write some code to make sure that we can detect when the mouse goes over one of these logos so let's get to it all right so i've made a lot of progress 
you can see now this actually looks like a desktop. The resolution is just very bad and the background is a bit worse, but it looks like a desktop. And the game is not actually playable. I've built the actual game and we can just start that up and now we can play it and you can see that I've added some really fancy animations. You don't see this on a normal desktop and I really like it. Oh, this might actually be something on a Mac. I don't know. <laughs> I've never owned a Mac. But this is very good news but there is one thing wrong right now and that is the cursor. This thing right here looks out of place so let's remake a cursor. Right, so I finished making the cursor and it looks really good. It doesn't look out of place or weird at all. It just fits perfectly with everything. And the nice thing is that it also looks like a cursor. Um, at first, I didn't even notice that I had changed the cursor when I first tested out how to change it. But if I zoom in right now, you can definitely see these are pixels. This is a pixel art cursor. And because of everything like that, this just looks good. And this is actually where we're going to end for this devlog. Make sure to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you don't want to miss the next one. Because I've got some crazy ideas for this game. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.